a place where everyone is unique, valued and respected. Where young people are encouraged to unlock their full potential, communicate in their own way and be part of the local community. Where children and young adults with disabilities and complex health needs can enjoy a wide range of fun activities. That special place is the Hamlet Centre, supporting over 400 families in Norwich and Norfolk each year. The children of the Hamlet Centre, largely a lot of them have severe complex health needs. So us here at the Hamlet Centre, we try to provide opportunities as best we can and provision for the children to come and engage and explore their interests that we're able to offer is really specialist care um, which is tailor-made to those individual needs. We offer families a range of support. We've just um, started a new service which is called The Hive and The Hive offers parenting support for children from naught through to three years of age and there's a range of different groups and activities. There's sensory groups, there's uh, musical groups, creative groups and it's a chance for parents to gain confidence and to really start to be able to work with their child with a disability. Personally in my role I've really seen the benefits of the Hive and what it can offer to parents and it's just a private place for them to come and open up and talk about their worries or concerns. Some of the children will work their way all the way through a transition from the nurture group to early explorers where they gain a lot of um, sensory level activities for, for that age appropriate. Our main ethos is to kind of enable children to gain an independence. My son Oscar has been coming here for about 18 months now and there are no other services for Oscar's age group um, in Norfolk that Oscar can access. So without the Hamlet Centre he would have no respite services. While looking around nurseries, I never found anywhere that I felt Oscar could fit in or even attend. But as soon as I came to the Hamlet Centre, then I knew this is where he needed to go. He's developed tons and also with his gross motor skills, his fine motor skills, he started feeding himself since he's been here, which is something I didn't think I'd see him do. We offer the short break schemes at the weekends and in the school holidays. For the children, they're fun, they're, they're engaging, lots of activities going on but for the families it really offers a time for a break. What the Hamlet Centre means to us as a family is peace of mind, we can relax. When they're both here, when both our children are here, it's lovely. We know that our daughter especially with complex health needs, her medical needs are going to be met. Um, the care plans that are in place are really spot on. Jack comes here and he's excited and happy. He feels that he can um, achieve more. I think it's given him confidence. He loves the volunteers that work here, um, which do, they do an invaluable job, really. He can make the choices all day long, and it really did set him up um, along the right path and the, um, the development that he needed before starting school. We talk about the Hamlet factor. And I think that people who work here have got something extra to give to the children and the families. And I think we do go that extra mile and we don't let families down. I think that's really important. We have a flat down at Trinity Street where they do independent living skills. And we do use it for transition in the summer. So um, we have a transition for sort of the 16 year olds from the children's service and we support them with um, a member of the children's services staff team to actually get them used to sort of moving into adulthood. My son's uh, moving from children's services to adult services and it's fantastic because it's going to be a big change anyway but at least if he moves within an organisation there will be people that know him, there will be people that he recognises I know it will happen much more smoothly and there's a great focus on sort of independence and preparing for change. The Hamlet Centre gives the adults the opportunity to lead an active social life and it allows them to do all the things that we as adults take for granted. I think the fact that the students are given a choice in the running of the activities, the 
the fact that they're able to feed into what it is that they want to do is really key, it's really important. I think the main thing that we are trying to do is build an individual's self-esteem and their confidence. So that might be in doing different things like uh, social activities and building friendships, or it might be in learning new skills and achieving different things, but it's all about the individual kind of progressing and reaching their potential. You walk into the Hamlet Centre, any of the rooms in the Hamlet Centre, and there's noise and there's people laughing and talking to each other. I've never met a team of staff that is so dedicated and experienced as here. It's like a family charity. It's, they take you, they don't just take the kid on, they take you as a family on. I think that children get something really special from the Hamlet Centre. I think they get to be treated as children first and disability comes second. If there was ever any thought of closing the Hamlet Centre, I think there would be a big fight from the parents to stop that happening. What's special about the centre is, is that we just try so, so hard to provide the very best for every individual that we can, um, so that to, to improve and, and better those people's lives and their life experiences.